So we move from los representantes, we have this character, for example, we have ancillary characters like the fascist, uh, the guy doing the fascist salute, uh, a naked woman, the image of uh, eroticism, that shies away, in a way, from this group, and an angel, a saddened face of an angel, who shies even more from, away from this group. And as we move into the world of skulls, the skulls in the, in the fascist uh, t-shirt, and the skull that represents death, in the same painting, we move into the next painting, which is La Calavera de Don Quixote. If that's the title that Jose Guadalupe Posada, a very um, ingenious uh, illustrator for the yellow press in Mexico, the beginning of the 20th century, did. He made this paint, this engraving as a woodcut representing Don Quixote uh, riding his horse and challenging and attacking sheep and people alike. They're all skulls, they're all skeletons, uh, typical of Mexican law. So I have decided to put uh, this massive uh, horse skeleton with this um, uh, human skeleton Don Quixote with his, with his helmet and his lance uh, charging at um, rams another um, um, human skeleton, um, sheep, and then you, you can see a uh, um, crouching, crouching sheep at uh, the bottom left, and at the top you see the skull of a pit bull terrier. It's a mixture of um, violence and um, you could say a very, very dense and dark sense of humor.